Warning that we've been telling you about for weeks now. The massive snow belt means that our waterways right now are running faster and colder than a lot of people are used to. Yeah, so what really happens to your body when you jump into really cold waters, right? Well, CBS 13 anchor Tony Lopez is breaking it down from the answers desk. It's called cold shock <clears throat> response, the physical reaction to what happens when we enter cold water. Now, if it happens when we're underwater, it can be lethal. Doctors remind us as soon as you jump into cold water, your skin senses it. Cold receptors tell your brain your skin has been cooled very quickly. Now, how does your body react once you enter cold water? There will likely be an initial gasp. We've all had that. Then rapid, uncontrollable breathing. Your heart rate and blood pressure will also go up. That's the cold shock response that should be treated with caution, meaning doctors say we need to enter cold water if we go in very slowly before we start to swim and splash around. Make sure your breathing is controlled. That will keep your body from taking in one or two larger than normal inhalations. And medical experts say if that happens when you're underwater, it could be lethal. What could happen if you stay in cold water for too long? You might experience a loss in strength and coordination. No matter how expert a swimmer you are, your arms will really start to feel it. Going from a smooth stroke to a splashy stroke is a good sign to get out. Of course, you don't need to worry about getting out if you never get in. The message this year especially, stay out to stay alive. The water could be deadly cold. So with the unofficial start to summer officially here, let's all be smart, still have fun, but be safe around the waterways. And oh, please, watch those children put on those life jackets, especially this year. From the Answers Desk, I'm Tony Lopez. Back to you.